Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can create this fire effect using sprite sheet materials. Here as you can see we have this effect which is made by using a sprite sheet and we can also make a blueprint with it so it's always facing the player. So let's jump right in and see how it's done. Here I have made a sprite material folder and inside it I am going to make a material. Uh, let's name it for example M sprite fire and open it up. Here I want to use the default explosion sprite material in Unreal but you can also import your own materials as well. So here I am going to hit Control P to search all of my assets and here I'm going to search for explosion here it is this is the one that we are going to use so drag it here and yeah this is our sprite material so here I'm going to change my material to translucent so the black areas will be invisible and it only works with uh, the fire that we have in this texture. So here if you connect this to emissive and to opacity, you can see that we only are able to see the fires and the black areas are hidden. Now the next thing I am going to use is a flip book. So here search for flip book and here it is now we need to connect the uvs to the uvs of our texture sample next we need to connect the texture coordinate to this part here so here search for texture coordinates and plug it in And next we need to define the number of rows and columns. So hold S and left click to add a constant and name it rows. And then duplicate this and name it columns. Then plug them in like this. And now you need to define the number of the rows and the columns based on your texture. So here you can see that we have six rows and also six columns. So here let's go with six and six. And here you go. This is your flipbook material. Now all you need to do is to create a plane in your level, scale it up a little and also let's rotate it for 90 degrees and then find our material and sign the material to the plane let it think a little and also let's save the material and now you can see that we have our fire uh, it's facing the wrong way so let's rotate it for 180 degrees and yeah that's it this is how you can set up your sprite material here if you go on the other side you can see that it's invisible a quick fix here is to enable this two-sided option in your material now you can see it from both sides but when we go here it looks bad and we need to do something about it again a quick fix here is to just duplicate this and rotate it for 90 degrees and now you can see that we can see it from all the directions but it's not the cleanest way you can fix this Another thing you can do is to 
create a blueprint and then set the rotation of the blueprint based on the player so let me delete this here and here let's create a blueprint let's name it bp fire and open it up here again let's add a plane then rotate it for 90 degrees and assign the material you made make sure that it's facing the right direction so let's rotate it like this and yeah and then let's drag it in to the level and scale it up I'm playing a first person template here so I want to set the rotation of the blueprint based on the rotation of my camera so let's go to the fire blueprint delete these guys here in the event graph and here from event tick we need to cast to first person character and next for our object drag off a wire and search for get player character now that we are casting to our first person character we are able to access the camera inside that pawn here so drag off a wire and get camera rotation for the first person camera and that's it now we need to set the rotation of the actor based on this value here so drag off a wire set rotation set actor rotation and just plug this in now you can see that the rotation is defined based on the rotation of my first person camera as i mentioned before you can use your own sprite sheets as well so for example here i have downloaded this sprite sheet and you can use it too so here in your uh, sprite fire material just change the texture and then adjust these rows and columns properly so this one has four columns and three rows so let's go with three and four and that's it this is working perfectly as well the final thing i want to talk about is how to adjust the speed of your effect so here all you need to do is to add a time node then multiply it by a value and plug it to animation phase now if you bump up this value you can see that it's moving much faster and if you for example set it on 0 0.1 you can see that it's changing in a much slower rate yeah that's it guys for this tutorial and if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel See you in the next one.